hello and welcome to my little intermezzo in my hovercraft tutorial guide series uh, I call it how flat is flat when I was working or I'm still working on the third part in my guide I started to think about the trusters because that part is about trust placement and I always use the biggest kind of trusted the tier 10 one or the tier, former tier 9 ones like the second biggest ones and the thing is free have flattened a lot of things but it also kind of feels like flat is a flexible definition sometimes for free jam where you compare different things and I guess when it comes to certain points it's a matter you could say of perspective so I started to think like have they changed the thrusters in any way like how flat is flat for free jam and this little part is me trying to find out that I mean, just because you always construct the hovers in a certain way doesn't mean it's right. So this is me kind of challenging my, my normal ways of building in a way. Before they had kind of like quite a while back, you can see like some new meter of, of like, trust force for a truster. And that's hidden now. Uh, I know top speed is different. You can see that is is quite clear from the smaller ones to the bigger ones. Like the bigger ones you go have, the faster your top speed would be both at low OC levels and high ones. But we actually do know that they have flattened HP for the thrusters, so you get the same HP per CPU for small and big thrusters nowadays. But how is it with acceleration or thrust force, the lift power? Uh, is that flattened too? So everything from acceleration to how high your top speed will be depends on the bot you make, like how heavy is it compared to, to the thrust force. So if you try to recreate these experiments, you might get a different result if you have a different weight of the bot. So I decided to, to do my tryout with uh, nine of the smallest thrusters, without thrusters, and five of the biggest. The reason for that number is five of the biggest cost 90 CPU and nine of the smallest cost 90, CP 90 CPU. So I kind of wanted the same number of CPU. So the idea is kind of to see how much bang do you get for the same buck or the same CPU. So we already know the small ones are a lot more space efficient. We also know that the big ones give you more speed, it's really easy to try. Acceleration however is a bit trickier and I kind of thought a bit about how to try this and decided I would go over an area facing the camera straight down and then replay the video in slow motion. Looking at the video, I could clearly see exactly when the bot reached 170 because that's the speed any bot can, can get to regardless of having thrusters or without any type of thrusters. So 0 to 170. So for this particular bot, without any kind of thrusters, I did 0 to 170 in 6.20 seconds. With 9 of the smallest for 90 CPU on the same bot, I did 0 to 170 in 3.30, so twice as fast. And with the biggest one, I did it in 2.65. So I think we can kind of clearly assume you get a lot more trust on the bigger ones for the same CPU. Another thing I tried to do was kind of shake, but how much can it lift? And I did this by constructing this little ugly bot for wheels, drive it up to a wall and kind of remove cubes until I could actually get a lift off. And I started with the biggest ones. And I removed cubes and in the beginning it started to jump a bit and then I actually managed to lift. So five big thrusters can actually lift about 3,500 kilos. That was kind of easy to find out, just check how much weight I had on the robot once I got lift off. What I did next was just remove the big thrusters, put on nine small thrusters for the same CPU and then drive up to the wall. So here comes the moment to test out if the small ones will manage the same. So this is the small ones on the exact same weight and I'll drive up to the exact same wall and let's see full speed uh, upwards and nothing happens. So in conclusion they can't lift the same mass. So what I did now was I kept removing stuff and removing stuff and removing stuff until I actually got lift off. And the small ones could actually lift 1160 kilos. So a lot less, not even half as much as the big ones. So I felt after doing this video that I was kind of kicking in open doors. I don't know if that's an English expression. It's a Swedish expression, kind of proving what everyone already know. But I thought it was interesting. I, I wanted to see how flat the game actually got. Like 
they had a bigger hitbox. The big ones have such a huge hitbox compared to the small ones. So I thought it was kind of worth it to actually experiment with the small ones to see if they were vi viable. If you actually got something for that big hitbox, and clearly you do. You accelerate a lot faster. You, you, you got a lot more trust, so you can move a lot more weight. Um, so yeah, the bigger ones are clearly worth it. I mean, they're trickier to construct with, but they're definitely worth it if you manage to get a good construction with them. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.